Welcome guys to the fifth episode, I think. Is it fifth? Uh, and in the last episode we set up an automated line for producing concrete. And just the first batch is getting into this storage container. So we don't need to worry about any, you know, uh, piling up all resources or, you know, missing resources. Because you can see here there is a lot of slots for, you know, all kind of stuff to get in there. So let's collect this. We will come back there later. Uh, I will collect some more biomass. Because we will start to need to produce more electricity and just the one biomass burner will not be enough. Okay, I will not overdo it because I said I want this thing. Okay, I haven't said it, but you know, I want this thing to be interesting for you to watch. So yeah, actually I'm an idiot. I told you know yeah write down in the comments you know what what should I talk about you know uh, and then <laughs> I totally forgot you know I'm like recording this on Tuesday what day is it today which date is it I think it's the 20 28th of March and you know I, I cannot know what you posted you know when this video will get out but eventually yeah uh, I guess I will get to it, or maybe, you know, if this is the fifth episode. Okay, let me do stuff first. Um, iron ore, let's grab it all. Put it there, collect it from here. So yeah, what I meant is that I will stop playing so that you can catch up with the comments so that for the next episode, the sixth one, thankfully, uh, actually, I will be able to talk about stuff that you wrote about in the comment section and uh, yeah by the way this thing that we are doing here it's actually production logistics you know logistics is not just about uh oh here we are not connected it's not just about you know like moving stuff from place a to place b it's also about many other things now i'm not sure if we have enough power or oh, actually wish uh capacity and maximum consumption Uh, that's not ideal. Is it over? Wait. Oh no, okay, the actual consumption is here. Uh, this shows us the all possible consumption of all of our machines connected to the grid. But since we don't have everything working, you can see these two are standing still because the lights are yellow. And I... Okay, I need to grab... Uh, copper ore, do I have? I have some copper ore. And if I put now here the ingots, you will see a blackout. And we have red light, which indicates that everything has stopped. And the issue was that our maximal consumption can be 21 megawatts, while our capacity of producing electricity is only 20. So we were consuming more that we are able to produce, but we can solve this easily also by engaging the second biomass burner. And now I, you have to pull this lever down. You can do it on each pole. So when I do this, electricity is back up and you can see now that our capacity is 40 megawatts. But you know, we are not using all of the 40 megawatts. So we will set up a production line also for copper there. I mean, I would really like to get the chainsaw so that I can clear this area and have everything down there. Actually, let me check. Uh, what do we need for the next? Or actually, don't you? I think we might have enough for the hub upgrade six. Yeah, you can see that the concrete has stopped moving down when the electricity stopped because all of our power lines were down, you know. Okay, we have enough concrete. That's lovely. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. And uh, we just need to have enough iron plates and iron rods. And what are we producing there? Are we still producing wire? That, that, that would be stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We will change recipe to plates because they are the most time consuming to build. And... Uh, 
Everything else we will do it by hand. Okay, I will just place all that I have here because we will be producing more stuff. Okay. Let's produce iron rods. Now I don't see how much I need, but hey, we will just... I guess it was 40 or something. Okay, so let's stop. No, it's, it's more. It's five more. Okay, now we have enough of this. And uh, we have enough plates. Not yet. Let's build some iron plates as well. Yeah, sorry if I'm calling these iron sheets. You know, it's basically the same stuff, I think. Or maybe there's a difference in how thick it is. But And let's upgrade the hub. We get new buildings Eventually, and new parts. You have unlocked. Building, space elevator, oh. building, biomass burner, part, biomass. And this is why I moved our building from down there to here. Task. On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service. Additional knowledge. The hub terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols. Yeah, don't worry. So we've done everything here. Uh, now we need to build the space elevator. This is a very, very big building. And now you can see that we have also here different goals. And we can select by what we need, you know. Like I can also go do a tier 2. And I do think I will go for this one because we can make solid biofuel, which lasts longer. And also we get chainsaws. So I will select this milestone and we will get right into it. So we need screws. So we need iron rods. So I will stop making here plates. I want iron rods. And uh, actually now that we have everything that we need i will automate this production here sorry i i need to pick this up not uh, destroy it and do i have enough to build another miner ah, i'm just missing the concrete but there is not an issue i just get there to our storage container and i will have it also we will need uh, we will need uh, cable so it will make sense also to get the line. You know what? Actually, I will wait here so that I can clear everything down here. So I will just collect from the miner. No, ah, that was a mistake. Uh, let's place you down again. Okay, so you please collect more copper ore while well, I will build and automate our iron production. So to make screws, we must firstly produce rods. So we need two uh, of the constructors, you know. So in which way should we go? I mean, I think maybe it would make sense to go that way because we have the length to expand. While well, there it's our base and everything, so yeah. Um, I will leave you running, but I will not leave you running. So you get destroyed. I mean destroyed, dismantled actually. We get all of the resources back and let's build the miner first. And as we said, we want it to face that way. Okay. Now we will need a smelter first. Let's put it as close as possible for now. Okay. If you see a green line, it means that it connects directly. Good. And now we need a constructor. And I am missing reinforced iron plates. And as we will need two constructors, I will... Wait, do we have a conveyor splitter or we have to... Uh, let me check. I think we don't have that stuff yet. Okay, because we can like split conveyors, but for now we will just ha we have to have a straight line. Okay, okay. 
so what I wanted to do is uh, reinforce iron plates. I can make two. But I will need more. And I need more screws. Okay, let's make more screws. I need more iron rods. Let's make more iron rods to make two more screws. So I guess I need plates now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I need... Pl no, I need still more screws. Yeah, the screws production is very slow. Actually, you will see that we will have bottlenecks now. Because, you know, some constructors will... Con make stuff faster than the other is capable of using or vice versa you know or maybe one will be producing not enough for the the one after him so the one after him will have to wait for the one before him to produce enough you know so yeah th this is not the most efficient way we can you know align their production so that it matches but i'm not sure we have the technology researched yet but if we do we will do it because also by reducing their production capacity, let's call it capacity is how much we can produce, you know, per uh, time. Uh, we also reduce our power consumption, you know, and as of now, our power consumption or production rather, it's not that big. Okay, constructor. Oh, I... I am missing... Cable, okay. Let's make some wire. Oh, I have wire. Then let's just make... Let's make 20 cable. 20 units of cables. Oh, I made more than 20, okay. And... Uh, constructor, we can build two. I will place it here. The thing now is that it's not necessary that everything will get to a constructor now. So I will leave some space. So that we may have a conveyor splitter later. But for now, as we will be making, you know, like screws. And since we don't have the conveyor splitter researched. It will have to wait. So let's put you here. Let's connect everything up here. This will be using a lot of power. And actually you can see that I have only one more connection that I can make. So what I will do instead is I will disconnect one, one machine. I will disconnect you. Because we must connect you to the power grid here. And I will rather have an additional pole. Because we are limited to the amount of connections we can have per pole, you know. And now I can connect you to here and to here. And before we start working, I have to... Actually, you should be working already. Is the power is down, yeah. Let me guess, I overburdened. No, I guess we run out of fuel, maybe? Oh, we are out of fuel. So, uh, I will be getting fuel now. I will not make you watch this because it's not interesting. And I will see you all when I gather enough fuel. So, I am back. And if you remember, there was, there was some vegetation over there. But, you know, I picked it all up. And now we do have, you know, almost 2,000 fuel. Yeah, I must get both of them running. And now we should see this production line getting started. So here we should have iron. Or moving. Oh yeah, now we see it. Okay, here let's select iron ingots. And here let's select iron rods. Okay, good. And here let's select uh, screws. And you can see that this one consumes 10 rods per minute and it produces 40 screw. So 10 rods per minute. And how much do you produce? You produce 15 rods per minute. So you know, 
this machine is actually overproducing for this one, you know. Ideally, I would have to have two of those so that they would combine together, you know, 30 rods per minute. And three of those because then they will be consuming 30 rods per minute. But as of now, uh, we don't have that luxury. We don't have uh, the splitters. And uh, the only thing that's missing here is the... Um, it's a container unit, you know, because when this one gets full, it's like 500 screws though, so I don't think there is, they are, we are in a hurry. But yeah, we will start to see here more and more rods accumulating. You know, it will actually get to 100, because this one will be always producing more than this one consumes. And what about here? Uh, here it's 15 and 15, so here it should be kind of balanced. Uh, what about you? 30 and 30, this should also be balanced. But we have this one that produces 120 ore per minute. So we can have up to 4, uh, you know, uh, what are you called? Uh, we can have up to 4 smelters per one miner. That's because the purity of this ore is pure. If it was impure, or I don't know what's the, the other two names, uh, we would get 60 or 30 so yeah that's it for this episode and i will see you all in the next one